Welcome to Mr. V Teaching Math. In this session, we're going to look at metric conversions using units of area. In a previous session, we took a look at making conversions using linear metric units, or units of perimeter and circumference, or a measurements of length, if you want to use any of those terms. But when you move into units of area, conversions on this chart are different. Allow me to illustrate. Here is a simple square. And we are going to calculate the area of this square. Our formula, of course, is area equals length times width. We will take our one meter length and our one meter width, and we will calculate that we have one meter squared of area. However, let's make a small change. Instead of measuring the length and the width in meters, let's convert our one meter into centimeters. Hopefully most of you realize that one meter is the equivalent of 100 centimeters. We're not changing the square in any way, shape, or form. We are simply changing the way we are describing its dimensions. Same square. Calculation of the area will follow the same format, using the same formula, but now using a measurement in centimeters. And I come up with an answer, 10,000 centimeters squared. Some of you will already have identified the de discrepancy. Is not one meter only 100 centimeters? If we look back on our, what we learned earlier about how to calculate conversions on here, if we have one meter here, we move the decimal space one time each step we take down the chart. So how come we have one meter squared and 10,000 centimeters squared? The key point is, this is not meters. This is square meters. This is a unit of area. And therefore, the conversion on this chart is different. In fact, it is important to remember that these are square units. And the method that I use to remember how do we make that conversion is that this number two tells us how far to move the decimal. If we take our one meter squared and I move down one, I have to move two decimal spaces. So take our invisible decimal, move it over two spaces, and fill in some placeholders. And again, move it down, move it over two spaces, put it in placeholders. And I now have 10,000 centimeters squared, which matches what I discovered through this calculation. It is important to remember, anytime you are doing conversions using area. Let's give some examples. Let's start with 6.8 meters squared, and I'm going to convert them to, sorry, 6.8 kilometers squared, and I will move them to meters squared. Move the decimal two spaces each time. This is the kind of conversion you need to make. Can you guess what would be different if this were volume? 